Hey everyone, it's me, Willow, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be redesigning some characters that you guys sent in to me on my Discord server. Without further ado, let's hop right into this. First character that we're going to be redesigning today is a cute little cat OC named Corn. Corn is a skeleton cat. That much was obvious from the picture that I was sent. It had a big, saturated bow on its chest, and it was a, a very all-over-the-place the design. So I wanted to kind of bring it all together so that it would look more... What's the word I'm looking for? Cohesive, that's the word. I wanted to make the design a, a lot more cohesive. I thought that it for sure had potential. So I didn't change a lot, but I did want to do... How the fuck do I explain my process? This is actually harder than I thought. A lot of the design aspects of Corn, I kept the exact same. We have a skeleton tail, we still have a skeletal pattern all over their body. They got the bow still. All I did was change the colors up a little bit so it looked, I guess, you know, less super duper saturated. It looked like a better and more fluid design. I wanted to keep the like s the skull pattern on the face. I decided to give it some floofy hair, as you can see. I played around with the idea of taking the colors from the bow, but like less saturated, and putting them on the face to make it look mask-like. But then I kind of ditched that idea and kept with just the solid bone, and then the big bow in the back were most of the color is located on the character. The markings aren't super clear in this picture, but I made it so that the spine goes like all the way through the character, kind of on the front and the back a little bit, depending on the angle you're looking at it. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this character. I mean, look, look how good it turned out. A baby, a child, an absolute cutie pie. It turned out so good. I'm so proud of this one, actually. Now, this next one I'm not as proud of because, holy shit, Olive, how dare you throw this fucking character at me. I couldn't say no. I couldn't resist. You, th you throw this cow at me, I gotta try something with it. But putting that weight on me, holy shit, I had so many ideas like so many I thought this was gonna be the longest one in the video it's not you'll see that later it's not but this one stressed me out so much and I kept thinking to myself what would Olive like and that was my biggest problem because we've talked before and I know what you're into like I know what you like I know what you like in character designs when you made your new Sona M, and I think it's pronounced M, oh god, sweats. Anyways, when, when you made your, your new Sona, we talked about it a lot. And you were like, oh yeah, I just kind of want to get away from like the, the other cutesy kind of branding and the, the pastel stuff. And that's not exactly what you said, but that was in my mind the entire time. I was like, okay, I can't go so far from the design that it's not readable as the character, but also what if I did? And that's when it went downhill. <laughs> I knew two things for certain when starting off this piece. Number one, I wanted to use all of the color, like the actual like olive color. And the second thing is, I wanted to give the character bangs. I don't know why, okay? I just thought it would look cute. So I did it. So I, I gave them I gave them bangs. I gave them longer horns, kind of pointing up in a different direction, more like an, an average cow, you know, because it's a cow character. And um, I made them very fluffy. I wanted it to be a very fluffy cow. You know those, like, pictures of, like, when you search grass puppy and, like, the first picture that comes up, that picture was in the back of my mind the entire time. Like, the, the cute little fluffy cow baby. So I wanted to make sure that the character was super fluffy as well. I decided to kind of change it up and do 
brown hair, which I kind of regret now, but it still looks good. Like, I'm still proud of the way it looks. It's just different. And I don't know, I, I love the original design so much, so this was so hard for me to do. But I, I genuinely like, you know, what I came up with, even if it's not the best that I've done. I mean, it, it's got a lot of the aspects there still. I mean, I made the paws little pink babies, but yeah, here's the final product. I feel okay about it. Thank you for letting me have the opportunity. <laughs> okay, last one. And this one is the long one, okay? Let me explain. So when this character was sent into my server, it was such an open book to me, okay? The description, she's a void angel, so sometimes she has a black spiky halo. Hit me hard, okay? And I'm pretty sure I just read that and neglected everything else about the character. That sounds bad, but that is exactly what happened. When I started sketching out the skeleton, which by the way, just the skeleton, like the base underlying sketch that all of these have had, that alone took me something like, I want to say 40 minutes. So 40 minutes off camera, I, for four, sorry, for 40 minutes off of camera, I was just working on that, okay? What the hell? Seriously. <laughs> but I ended up settling on a really specific <sighs> I'm losing my place I don't know what I'm saying so I'll just start here okay I completely neglected everything else about the character you said void angel and I went oh whoa what the fuck is that because that sounded like a really neat concept so my apologies this is essentially just a void angel OC now. I'm really proud of all the design decisions that I made, but goddamn if the wings didn't give me absolute grief. And the legs were a nightmare too. You'll see when I get to them in the footage that like I have to redraw the sketch for them like twice. And then even still it doesn't look exactly right. Like something about it is just slightly off. And I'm mad about it, but you know what? It doesn't look bad. Like, the final product, I'm actually really proud of all things considered. Ryuji? Please. Sorry, my phone just went off. I don't know if that's gonna stay in the final cut if I need to stall for time. Probably will. But anyways, I didn't go off... I, I, I didn't go off the original character design too much. I added a lot of extra stuff, changed up a few things about the like the hairstyle for one is something I changed. I gave the character elf ears because I thought that just kind of fit really well. Um, I realized really late into all of this that they had a little vampire-like tooth sticking out of their mouth. and. Let's just pretend they still have vampire teeth, okay? I didn't draw them with their mouth open, but let's just pretend, okay? It's there. Like, a, a lot of the things are still there. Skin color is still uh, off-white. It's still a gray, okay? Hair is still black. It's a very monochromatic design. Is that the correct word? Monochromatic? Something like that. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. But it's... I think it just looks more well-rounded now. It looks more 3D rather than the original design looking very two-dimensional and flat, in my opinion. Um, I gave them a long, flowing outfit with little shorts underneath, you know, for modesty reasons. I added a kind of star motif, like galaxy type thing to them. I don't know why, I just thought it was fitting. and give them a little bit of eye shadow, you know, for fun, for funsies. Um, this one gave me so much grief, high key, but I really, really, really love the way that it came out. It was a big uphill battle, but I mean, look at it. L look at them. They're worth it. Look at this. Love the design now. It's great. Thank you for giving me this character to work with. 
So that is all we have today, these three wonderful characters that I redesigned. I hope y'all like how they came out, and I know that they're, uh, you know, not the best, but I'm super proud of what I accomplished today, so thank you all for watching so, 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 so much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay safe, drink water, put on a mask when you go outside, guys. Catch you next time.